Hi there, Alistair from the De Havilland Aircraft Museum here. In the 1920s and 30s, if you wanted to test out new concepts in aircraft design, you couldn't really test it in a wind tunnel with a model because models weren't that good in those days for testing aeroplanes. You really had to build your own aeroplane to test out what you wanted to, what you wanted to experiment with. Uh, and this is an example of that. It's a DH-71. It was originally called the Tiger Moth. It was the first Tiger Moth. It wasn't the same as the biplane that we've already seen. It was a little single engine racing aeroplane. Uh, with only one pilot and it was actually built around the physical proportions of the pilot um, and it's a tiny little thing. This is a replica in actual fact. Now the story of this replica aeroplane is the story of one of our volunteers and that's of course is our Alex. Um, so Alex this is really for you um, and um, he joined us I don't know how long ago now maybe five or six years ago just at the time when we'd acquired a few parts of a DH-71 replica um, and somebody had given it to us well, by saying you know would you like to carry on and maybe complete the project and build a replica um, this, this kind of fired Alex's imagination as a new volunteer he said I could do better than that I, can, I could build one from scratch um, he had access to all the um, computer assisted design packages and things like that so he set himself the task of taking the original drawings, he found original drawings and he made CAD design models and everything else from which he could construct a re living replica of the DH-71 racer. Um, this is how far he's got, you know, I, th I think he's making a kind of an okay job really, it doesn't look too bad, <laughs> not sure if I flying it myself, you know, sitting it myself, but there you go, uh, he, he's pleased with it. Uh, seriously, he's doing an absolutely cracking job. He's got a fantastic workshop set up here. I am green with envy of this, Alex. Um, when you come back, I'm going to have it, I think. Um, no, he's got a, a wonderful setup here. He's doing a grand job uh, along with his fiancée, Eva, who is helping him. Eva, unfortunately, is stuck in Slovakia at the moment, uh, but uh, I know she'll be watching this too, so hi, Eva. And, um, you know, once they get back together and get, get cracking on this, it's going to be fantastic. It's, go it's got a place here, Mark for it's already. It's going to be hanging up in the roof space of our new hangar above all our other exhibits uh, and it's going to look absolutely fantastic. It's not a big aeroplane, it's quite small, it's really tiny and he's building the whole thing as a faithful replica using exactly the same techniques and where possible the same materials as were used in the original. Fantastic job Alex, lovely little workshop. Must just point out to you before we go, the large wing hanging up on the roof on the side wall here that is our oldest aircraft exhibit. That is part of the DH-10 bomber that was built in about 1918, just at the end of the war. Uh, one of the very first aircraft, it was an airco design aircraft construction company. It was called the Amiens, after the city of Amiens in France. Uh, and that is the only surviving part that we know of of a DH-10. Extremely old, uh, very fragile, uh, but it's there just on display in Alex's workshop. We are hoping that once we get reopened and get reorganised again, this workshop area will be open to visitors. So when you come along, you'll be able to come and see this fantastic replica airplane that's being made right here in our own workshops. Who knows, if you come along the weekends, you may even get to meet Alex as well, and perhaps ever as well. Uh, in the meantime, to both of you, stay well, stay safe. To everybody else, take care, look after yourselves. See you on the next one. Alex and Eva, thank you so much for all your support, and we're all missing you. Here, here.